every spot looks the same. At least that last campsite had electricity and people. We're people. OK. It's not camping if you're staring into somebody else's tent. You never know what could be going on in there. There's too many damn people in the world. Can we please just get there? You know, she reverts to behaving like a child just to annoy me. I think this wilderness trip is going to do you both a whole lot of good. Peaceful. Yep. Okay, ladies. We got a lot of work to do. Come on, let's get going. It's really pretty nice, Dad. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Emily, come and help me. Can I relax for a second? We've been driving for hours. It's really not fair. You know what? Life's not fair. I realize that. Good. Then I'm doing my job. You sure have. Please do what I ask you to do. I don't think she's going to make it. <laughs> or I'm not. Oh, OK, we'll give her a little sedative later. Now, right now, we got to unpack all this stuff. You ready to set up the tents? You OK with that? Yep. Good. OK, join the shot corded bulls together. OK. Put these together. I think this is the board. You need some help? Sticking through this. Look at these. Mom, things. you need to set up your tent. Why are we setting up tents when we have an RV? Because there's nothing like sleeping out under the stars, that's why. After you finish your pout, would you collect some wood for the campfire? Please? So what do you do if you see a bear? Scream in panic. She'll lecture it about life until it runs away. You play dead. Stop for lunch. Mm -hmm. And did I tell you this story? Yeah. Hey, this place looks great. You guys make a good team. No, no, no thank you. So, ah, uh, you're just in time. Just in time for what? Wow, this is beautiful, Dad. Smell that air. I know. Have you ever seen so many pine trees? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. OK. All right. Here, take, hold on. I'm good, I'm good. All right, all right. I'm here if you need me. Just get ready to fish. See, the fish won't bite if they smell your scent. OK? That looks like it hurts. No, nah, it doesn't hurt me at all. I don't want to kill a worm. Emily, how are you ever going to survive? Not by fishing. We're not going to eat what we catch, right, Dad? Why not? We have to have dinner. 
Dad, I'm sure the fish in this river are contaminated with lead or mercury or something. She thinks the whole world is screwed up. No, I just don't think we should eat them. How about eating a worm? Ew, oh. gross. Emily, stop it. Uh. I mean it. Ew! You're no fun. <sighs> She's not like this when she needs money. Will you just try to have a good time? You have to get past your recent setbacks. Dad, I lost everything. The business wiped me out. I mean, we are living month to month. I don't even know what I'm going to do next. You know, when you become a parent, you realize that there are no adults. Everybody's just pretending. Everybody tells you, you know, they think they know what they're doing, but they don't. They're just bullshitting. So, you have to start pretending. You have to pretend for them. That's just great, Dad. And things will be better next time. I've run out of next times. It seems like everything I try to do just doesn't work out. Don't lose hope, honey. Hope doesn't pay the rent, doesn't do my car payments. Now you're the one pretending. I don't know what else to tell you. OK. I need to borrow some more money. I know I promised that I wouldn't. It's OK. We'll talk about that later, OK? Right now, I have to take a reason. OK. Whoa! Um, you okay? I'm guessing there are no actual fish in this river? Well, they're not going to just leap off onto your plate. You have to work hard for them. OK, Mom. Hello? You need to leave. Oh, you startled me. Who are you? You're on private property. Please, pack up your things and find another place to camp. Well, we just got here. Couldn't we at least stay the night and leave in the morning? I can't. You'll have to leave. Thanks. What's happening? It's kicking us out. Why? It's private property. Oh. Sir, we didn't see any signs, or we never would have. Sir, it's set gonna up. get dark soon. I said no. There are plenty of campgrounds about 10 miles south of the main road. I'm asking you nicely to leave. Well, that was kind of rude. Why do you always have to interrupt me every time I speak? Okay. Anyway, it's it's his property. We have to go. Great, now I have to pack all this shit back up. Emily. Stop, 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 stop! You're stuck, you're stuck! Oh, my God. I hate camping. I hate the outdoors. There's no phone. There are no people around. Oh, except, of course, for the creepy guy with the gun. Mom's freaking out again. I hate pine cones. They're useless. What are we going to do? Oh, shit. <sighs> We're stuck. I can see that. You just calm down, all right? Now, what we need is uh, you to collect some flat pieces of wood. You do that? Emily? <sighs> Emily? Please. Make yourself useful. Go help your mom. Is that going to hold it? No, obviously not. This is a wrong jack. God damn it. Here, just put those under the tire. Why don't we just call AAA? I'm kidding. OK, where are those flat pieces of wood I told you? Do you got? I got them.
Yeah, in the front. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, now go. Go, get behind the wheel. Am I in your way? Okay, when I tell you, start the engine. Okay. Put it in drive. Now? Put it in drive. All right, okay, all right. Look. Ready? And then when I say go. When you say go, I got it. I right. go, right? I'm going to tell you. You just ease into the gas pedal, OK? Almost there. OK, that's that's good. Now, now just slowly, easy, keep going. Hold it. OK. I just want to get out of here. I just want to go home. I want to get home. I want to get home. Make us be home. The other side is worse. OK, ready? Dad! Easy on the gas. It's not, uh, not your fault. Emily, go get the first aid kit. Oh, geez. Uh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Just keep the pressure on it. Hurry up, Emily. There's nothing here. Well, then just grab a towel or a T-shirt, anything. Oh, my God. Here. Uh, Emily, help me get him up. We're going to help you up, Dad. Oh, no. God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Dad, we're going to sit you down. Don't worry, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. You can handle this. No, I can't. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my. Okay. I don't know what to do. What about the guy? Maybe he has a phone out here that works? Okay. We'll wait until he comes back. If you're not going to do anything about it, then I'm going to go. You're not going anywhere, Emily. Uh, I mean it. Hey, you two, stop bickering. Emily, hand me some water. Here. Dad. Take a sip. There you go. How are you feeling? I've had better days. Emily, you are not going. Why? Because you're not. That's why. We need to be here for him. Um. Give me your phone. When was the last time you had a signal? I don't know. Give me your phone. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, I am going to go up here and see what I can see. OK. What do you see, Mom? Three people stranded in a stupid forest, maybe? That's your idea? This will get his attention. We're gonna die. <sighs> Why can't you just take control of this? Mom, this is really the dumbest thing. Camping now, huh? Yep. I mean, if that landowner was anywhere nearby, he would have heard the horn. I don't think you'd hear a horn from a mile away. Well, I'm gonna go fix us some dinner. I'm not real hungry. You know, I think you should do what you're 
mother thinks is best. She's scared. She can't handle this. You know, she's a lot tougher than you think. I don't know about that. You'd be surprised. Here, sweetie. Tomorrow morning, you two should start walking back to the main road. It's about seven, eight miles. Why don't we get a good night's sleep and we'll figure it out in the morning. Sounds good to me. see the smoke and come back. How'd you sleep? What sleep? It's freezing. I know. What are we gonna do? Not sure, but we can't leave him alone. Well, I think one of us should go look for help. What we should do is wait and see if he comes back or try and fix the RV. Let's just, let's just wait a little while longer. I don't think so, Mom. Well, you disagree with everything I say, so. No, I don't. You just did it. What are you afraid of? We already tried all of that. I just don't think we should separate. It could make things worse. That wound is serious. Do you think I don't know that? I just think doing nothing is not a plan. OK, things just don't fix themselves. We're never gonna get out of here with you in charge. Oh my god. Um, shh, Daddy, breathe. Just breathe. Uh, Dad, breathe. Emily, Emily, get my bag. Get, get my bag, it's in the back. Shh, Daddy, breathe, breathe. Breathe, oh, breathe. Uh, yeah. That's, quick, quick, quick. Uh, give me some water, Emily. Give me some water. Here. Daddy, take these. Take these. Take these. Well, hurry up, hurry up. Water, here, here, water. here. Okay. Up, up. Oh, God. You're okay. You're okay. Hey, Dad. How do you feel? Oh, I'm really tired. Where are you going? Emily's going to stay here with you, and I am going to go walk up the road a mile and see if I can find that landowner. Well, you better be really careful. I will. You rest, and I will be back very soon. Yeah. Oh, do you think this is the best idea? Do you want me to go? No, I do not want you to go. I want you to stay here and take care of Grandpa. Do not leave. OK. OK. What do you do if you run out of water? Uh, what? You know. No. You drink your urine. Oh, God, I will not be doing that. Mom. I would rather die. If you die. <laughs> We all die. Oh, enough with the millennial bullshit. Just stay here and keep an eye on Grandpa. I'm not a millennial.
Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? Hello? There's been an accident. I, I need to use your phone. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Where are you? I'm I'm looking for a working phone. Is someone there? Please help me. Where's my sister? Where's my sister? Where's my sister? Where's my sister? After you eat lunch, we'll get you some sun. See. I have a secret. I saw somebody today. Where'd you see them? It was a woman. She was outside the house. She knocked on the door. But then she left. Take your pills.
start with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> was in this house. I better not find you in here. Are you in here? Did she see you? Did she come up the stairs? Answer me, Andrew! Did she see you? Answer me, Andrew! Did she see you? been in the house? Sure. Yes. Get him when you can. Can I see him? Not sure. Please help me. How long have you been in here? Since I was a boy. Is there a working phone in this house? Yes, but he hides it. Why are you here? We were camping by the river and there was an accident. My father needs to get to a hospital. I'm sorry, I have got to go. He's leaving. Please, please, please. You gotta help me. You, you have to help my sister. Her name's Natalie, please. Where is your sister? She's in the basement. I can hear her. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm gonna bring help. Please help my sister.
Grandpa, somebody's coming. I asked you to leave my property. Why are you still here? Our RV got stuck, sir. And my grandpa's really hurt. My mom went to look for you. You didn't see her? Where's your grandpa? What happened? He's inside. He's lost a lot of blood. Do you have a phone that works out here? No, I don't. How long's your mom been gone? Seems your problem is now my problem. What do you mean? It's in there, all right. What's your mom's name? Helen. Helen what? Helen Schaefer. You think she's the kind of person that would walk into someone's house without their permission? Mm -mm. No, she's not like that. I hope not. Mom, what are you doing? He's got somebody locked up in his house, Emily. Get me something to tie him up with. Oh, my God. Hurry. Uh, Go. Tie him up? Tie him up with what? I don't know. The, the, the rope from the tents that we use. Go. Hurry, hurry. This is the last time I go camping. Hurry up, Emily. Mom, you're going to kill him. Give me. Tie up his feet. Tie up his feet. Emily. Holy shit. Sit here. Mom, what are you doing? Sit here and take this. Come on. Is it loaded? Uh, sit. Hold this on him. If he tries to move from that spot, shoot him. I mean, warn him first, and then shoot his legs. OK? Do you understand? You can do this. Do you understand? OK. What the hell is going on out there? You two still arguing? We have to get out of here. There's an ATV, and I've got the keys, but I need you to get up. You have to get up now. Get up and come with me, so. Uh, Dad, work with me. You're too heavy. You gotta help me here. Dad, up. I, I can't. This is not going to work. Not going to work. Oh, Jesus. I love you, Helen. I love you too, Dad. Hurry back. Remember, we still have to make those s'mores. Here, let me take this. I saw a truck back at the house. We need to find the keys. Check his pockets. I'm not checking his pockets. Please, I just walked a thousand miles through the woods. Would you just check his pockets? Come on, the longer you take, the longer we're here. Hurry up. Which pocket? All of them. Uh, oh, God, I... Uh, uh, oh, for Christ's ah! Oh, for Christ's sakes, take this. Uh. Oh, God. Who keeps their keys in the back pocket? Go! Okay, okay. We'll be back soon with the police. Did she go back to the house? Did she? Maybe. 
If she did, she's in danger. She shouldn't be there. What kind of danger? Stop. Move. I've done nothing to hurt you. He's dangerous. You don't know what you're doing. I don't care what you say, sir. You move again, and I'll shoot you. The truck is not empty. In the basement. I was afraid you'd say that. Let me see this thing. This is welded. Listen, listen. I'm gonna go get a knife. I'm gonna cut you out of this thing. I promise. I'll be right back. Where's my sister? I didn't see her down there. I'm so sorry. No. No. You're a liar. I'm not lying. She wasn't there. You're a liar. I'm not lying. I'm not You're a liar! Andrew! He's gone because of you. He's gone! 
because of you! Who are you? I'm his mother. What are you doing here? I, I just came for help. I'm camping nearby, and, and there was an accident. I just... Oh, but you had to break into my house? I didn't break in. I swear that the door was open. So you just walked right in. Who else is with you? It's just, it's just me and my father, and he needs an ambulance. Please, that's all. We just need some help. Hmm. Well... We'll get to them. No, you don't understand. He's going to die if he doesn't get help. Please, just let me go. Let me go. Oh, calm yourself. All right, you know what? You know, I, I really <laughs> would like to trust you. I really would. It would make things so much easier, but you've seen Andrew. What did he say to you? Why does that matter? It matters to you. He, um, he wants to see his sister. His sister died years ago. My only son is out there because of you. He's my only son. I don't know what I will do if he doesn't come back. And I blame you. I blame you! We have some water, please. Hey, I'm gonna need you to move over here so I can see you when I go get it. Oh, I can't. Untie me. I, I can help you get out of here. I'm not as naive as I look. Please, let me have some water. Don't kick me. Oh. I'll let you bake out here. <sighs> what are you doing? Hey, Grandpa. Water? Mm. <sighs> Thanks. Where's your mom? She'll be back. I want you to trust her. Don't shoot him, my nephew, he's sick! No! You poisoned me! Adam, you! Help! Don't just stand there, help me! Help me! I just need to talk to you. What do you want from us? 
I'm hungry. There's nothing here for you. It's really cold out here. Please? I'm not opening the door. So just leave, okay? Go! I didn't mean to scare you. Just go away. I know where she is. Your mother, I mean. She's at my house with my sister. I'm sorry that I broke your window. I didn't mean to scare you. You killed somebody. I had to. They poisoned me. I wouldn't hurt you. Can you please come out? I don't think so. It's getting cold in here. Maybe you shouldn't have thrown a rock through the window, you fucking idiot. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. I liked it better here with the lights on. You're telling me. How you feeling? You hungry? You want some food? Okay, well, I'll just uh, put it over here for later. You know, I, I just feel awful about the way this whole thing started. I mean, I, I can imagine what you must be thinking. Your father out there hurt. I mean, we need to get him some help. Please. Please. Well, tell me where the campsite is. I can send my husband. I mean, the, the hospital is 30 miles away. Why can't you just call for help? Well, I could, but where would they look for them? I mean, look, it's pitch black outside. Nobody knows this land better than we do. We'll find him first. How do I know you wouldn't hurt him? If we would have hurt anybody, we would have hurt you. 
You're the one who entered this house illegally. You broke the law. No. You know, people can get shot for breaking and entering. But I didn't break. You have an opportunity here, right here, right now, to fix this. I don't know where my brother is, and I don't know where my son is. I need your help. Look, it seems to me you're running out of options. Where is the campsite? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll find it in the morning. But you better hope that when we do find my son, He's okay, or you will have no options left. Got it? They're down by the river. Go see if you can find him. What are you gonna do about the father? How the hell do I know? We're getting in deeper and deeper here. Maybe we find Andrew and we disappear no, someplace. No. I'm not running anymore. What do you want me to do then? Those people trespassed. Those people have disrupted our lives. Are you willing to let them separate us? Why don't you let her go? I don't need you to be weak right now. Just go find him. They're here. Andrew? Can't hide. Listen to me. I just want to go home. Stay quiet. If you don't, and he finds you, he'll poison you and lock you away forever. Your mother's worried about you. We're not angry with you. Now, please, please. I'm staying right here. I just want to take you home. Andrew! games here. I can hear you in there. Come on out. God damn it, Andrew! Unlock this door now! Who's in there? Come out. I won't hurt you. I I'm looking for our son that ran away. Have you seen him? to me or something happened to Gary. He should have been back by now. Why would you leave your son locked up in this room? We were taking care of... I don't have to explain myself to you. Please. Please just let me go. I'll leave and never come back. You'll never see me again. I, I swear I won't tell anyone I was here. You'll run and tell everyone about this place and they will take him away from me. They won't understand. I understand.
understand. Oh, you don't. I will never give up on my family. Not ever. man on the couch. I think he stopped breathing. You're lying. It's not true. He needs your help. You have to come out. Did you hurt him? How do I know you didn't kill him? He doesn't have much time left. Get away from the door. Get away from the door. Stay back. Grandpa! Grandpa! He's still breathing. Oh, thank God. Why did you say that? I didn't think he was breathing. But my sister, she's at the house, and I need to help her. We have to leave right now. You're wearing his shoes. Who was that last night, and what did you do to him? Stay back! I was protecting you. He's outside on the ground. You killed him? Oh, my God. You didn't hurt my mom, did you? No. But she needs your help, too. She's at the house. Okay. I am not used to this kind of shit, okay? Why did you kill those men? Every day, I wake up. And I sit on my bed. I eat. I read. Sometimes I get to go outside. But that's it. So, you like a prisoner? And they took me away a long time ago. I just want to protect my sister. Are you going to help me? I don't know. Just, just keep your distance. This will go in your neck if you try to hurt me.
So what did these people do to you, Andrew? I mean, if you don't mind telling me. I don't think we should talk about it. But they kidnapped you, right? How old is your sister? She's younger than me. I haven't seen her since we were kids. Wait, you live in the same house, but you haven't seen her in years? How do you know she's even there? I hear her. She yells, mostly at night. Well, maybe it's just in your imagination. Have you ever thought about that? What do you mean? I mean, maybe all the yelling is in your head. You killed two people back there. Don't stop. Keep going. Why? Because I need you to. Sir, can you hear me? Your daughter sent me to help you. Emily? Emily? My granddaughter. Your granddaughter, she's here? She came with you? I'll make sure we find her. Anyone else here? You comfortable? <laughs> That's it. Just go to sleep. That's it. Let go. It'll all be over soon. He just got in the way. That's all. Look at me. I want you to see me. My husband is out there lying in the dirt. It was your daughter who did this. I'm gonna take care of her too. Thank <laughs> you.
Dad? Dad? She doesn't like a lot of noise. Your mother, she's up those stairs. I'm not going up there by myself. down there, you're crazy. I can't help you anymore. Shouldn't be.
If you hurt my daughter, I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Emily! Are you fucking bitch? You come down here, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I'm gonna get you out. You're safe now. Andrew. Who are you talking to? Emily. We found her. Please, we can't leave her here. Please, help us. Natalie? Natalie? We'll come back for her, I promise. We and we have her. to go. We have we to go can't now. Leave this is our You don't understand. No, no, no. Your mother is up there waiting for us. This is our only chance. If you want Natalie to live, you have to come with us now. We can't leave come her. on. Go up the stairs and hide by the campsite. Go, go, go. Run, Emily. Emily, go! see a bear. You play dead. Mom! Mom! <laughs> they would put you in a hospital. I can't let that happen. had no choice, you know that. Well, bury them next to each other. That'd be the right thing to do. Oh, <laughs> 
sorry. I promise I won't hurt you again.